You guys are not only cool, you have a lot of, you know, thought behind a song, and there are a lot of deep messages, you know, you send across to the people. So, tell me more about this album. This album, like we said, is called Homeless. It has title track, it's called Homeless. And I'll not say much about the song. Yeah. Uh, I'd wait for people to listen to it, because that's the whole theme of the album. Hmm. And then we've written songs which have got messages that we relate to, like we've written a song called Slut Regime. It's about how the government is like a whore. Yeah. And if you know the right ways of how to take advantage of every situation, you can beat the government at okay. its own game. Okay. Then uh, we've written a song that's called The Hooligan Police. Mm -hmm. It's about uh, how the police has a high-handedness in day-to-day -day dealings. Mm -hmm. And we've actually experienced that by being to uh, police stations a couple of times. Yeah, how? Yeah. Uh, I, I was booked in section 110. That is... Uh, Creating nuisance nu in public place. <laughs> uh, what were you exactly doing? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I was not there. I was asking for a bottle of petrol, let's say. From whom? From the petrol pump guy. Yeah, without paying the money. No, no I was no. paying him the money. Yeah. But he, he didn't have the bike, so he took a bottle and asked him to put it over there. So right. he thought, you Which know, was not allowed. he's bald, he'll make a bomb out of it and he'll blow up the parliament or something. So I don't know what went into his head. He called the cops and then we went to a police station. They filed a complaint against me for section 110. They slapped me <laughs> for asking petrol. I went trying to explain them. Did you why tell them that I'm a musician? No, I told them that I need petrol because my bike's not working. Yeah, what were you wearing at that point in time? Were you wearing a suit like this? No. See, that's the point. You wear wrong clothes at wrong places. <laughs> if you were in a suit, he would have given you that one liter of petrol absolutely free. Yeah, that's what I figured out. And yeah. then we have other songs uh, like uh, Make Disorder, how too much of everything is bad. Okay. Yeah, too much of peace and control is turning out to be bad right now. So we see so many movements going on right now. Yeah. Uh, so that's Make Disorder. Then we've written another song, with, uh, Blowing Up Some Money at the Westin. It's, it's about how we blow up a lot of money at five-star hotels. You pay a bomb for a bill and you come out of the hotel feeling like you're still hungry. So technically what you write is what you experience in your day-to-day -day life. Yeah. And who's the lyricist of the band? Well, all of us form a part in the songwriting process. Mm. Basically, first we come up with a theme mm. of how what we want to write a song about. Mm. We uh, practice every week. Mm. There are right. always one or two things that we've gone through that are catchy enough to be mm. writing about. Mm. You know, a general jam session that we meet up, you know, actually, apart from playing the songs, there's a lot of time that we spend with each other, understanding what happened in each other's lives. And suddenly we hear something that, you know, I, know I got arrested mm. uh, last week. Mm. And then we say, you know, let's make a song called Hooligan Police. And then there's no lyrics written, there's no structure. That's a thought that comes in. Yeah. Everyone goes back, you know, tries to think what is the drum part, what is the bass, what is the Yeah, and guitar. when we wrote the song, like, for example, when we wrote Hooligan Police, we didn't even know that we were going to call it Hooligan Police. We just, want, we just said that we have to write something about the high-handedness of the police. So and it's more like a democratic process in the group where you all come up with an idea and then Ame gets to talk about it. Correct, yeah. correct. Democracy at, at democracy its best. Democracy at its best. <laughs> I mean, and Jack is the, you know, victim of this democracy. He doesn't get to talk at all. Uh, Jack gets to talk on drums. Yeah. yeah. Jack gets to talk on drums. Oh, you should hear him. Yeah. yeah. Of course we did, of course.